Here are some skins that are coming for the new aircraft for the upcoming update. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And guys, um, Zabi just posted a tradition post. That he, he even said that, um, that he always basically finds the skins that were not in the dev server for the vehicles that were in the dev server. Normally, we don't get in the dev server the skins, but we get it afterwards. So... I decided to take a look on some of them and give my opinion on it. So let's take a look. Most of the new aircraft have um, some form of new skin. We start with the A10C World War II skin over here, which is a pretty, pretty all right one. Um, it doesn't have as much as I thought it would have. There are other ones that have more, but yeah, the wings are uh, painted. The top of the the, the aircraft is painted. Uh, like this to make sure nobody shoots it down thinking it's an enemy, right? So it is pretty pretty all right I don't like too much on those World War II skins in modern aircraft, but I know a lot of people love it So yeah, here is the first one for the second one We have another one for the tornado very similar to the one that we had in the game uh, 259 would be difference here, uh, but yeah very similar to the tornado. This is for the tornado coming um, and a lower BR, right? The funny part is that... Have you noticed anything? Yes, this is a core motor missile. So, <laughs> interesting, I must say. But, uh, yeah, anyway, this would be the skin. Nothing too crazy to talk about it here. But, yeah, the next one would be for the AV-8B and A. The night attack, of course, the premium AV-8B coming up. Uh, this is the uh, KD. Uh, skin for the marine, so uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, it has a tail with a different um, like eagle design over here, KD and stuff, but and the the, the squadron logo probably or something like that. But uh, apart from that, it's a pretty normal one. So uh, yeah, not not one that I will get for myself because it's just it's too close to the normal one to be honest. Uh, then we have a 30-year one uh, for the F-111C, for the Australians. Uh, so yeah, very normal skin, of obviously, again, with a, a commemorative uh, tail design over here. You can see, um, we call it this, this pattern of stars over here, the Cruzeiro do Sul in Brazil. But I don't know how you guys say there in Australian. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, it is a, a way of you knowing that you can go to the south or basically know every direction because then you will know what where south is but yeah there is a, a constellation of stars in the sky in the south hemisphere that basically it's like the north star or whatever it's called um in north hemisphere um and now uh, yeah it's it's basically on the flag of the australians right and it basically kind of is a flag over here so pretty cool and then f-111 1973 2003 30 year commemorative so very very cool skin for the next one we have one for the f-111f we, which is the miss liberty 2 apparently it's called uh very normal one with some commemorative stuff and and squadron logos and stuff so pretty cool not gonna get too much into the history of every single one but yeah okay then we have some for the J10. I gotta say this is probably the coolest one. It's kind of a, an aerobatic one uh, for aerobatic squadron, as you see over here. Zero one. So a very very cool kind of dark bluish scheme over here with the white and red. So very very cool skin. Like probably my favorite of the update. But yeah, very cool. Uh, we have another one, a little bit more normal. And probably the one that I'm gonna use if I'm not using the blue one, uh, because this is white. I love the white skins of the Chinese Air Force. So yeah, it is basically a white one with the insignias and stuff, nothing too crazy. Then we have two for DJF-17, uh, kind of a, a green commemorative one as well for Pakistan. So uh, very cool, very cool skin as well with the flag and stuff. Uh, and then we have another one with the spider web there and the spider. I don't like too much spider, so black spider squadron or something. But uh, that, that's for sure one that I'm not gonna get because I don't like this this little little thing here. But uh, yeah, it's very like normal, you know. It's it's again. There's a lot of skins in, in this day, you know, and age that are basically the normal skin that you see, but with something on the tail. So it, it makes sense that we see a lot of them over here. We have another one for the P16. 
which is a greenish kind of camouflage one. All right. I gotta be honest, I prefer the normal one, but it is still pretty cool. Then we have some for the new prop, the Sea Fury, for the French uh, tech tree, uh, being, you know, uh, Dutch and Belgian vehicle or something like that. People are saying that it's the Dutch, but apparently it is like a Belgian vehicle in the game. Uh, we have to wait, right? But yeah, Dutch skin, pretty cool, uh, darkish kind of color. The Dutch insignia, flag and stuff, pretty cool. We have another one for the Dutch. Uh, mm, there was another one for the Fury, but apparently it's not here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it at the end of the video, but yeah, uh, Seahawk Mark 50, you can see it right here. Pretty all right skin, honestly, very similar to the one that was already in the game, but yeah. But then we have an Algerian SU24M, uh, which is I mean, for me it's the coolest skin of the SU24. Look at this. The bluish and then the desert, like, it makes a lot of sense for Algeria, right? So, very, very cool. Uh, we see another one for the uh, Soviet SU-24. So, Soviet insignia, as you see, greenish, kind of... It's They say it's kind of a, like a desert camouflage, which is kind of funny because it's, it's, it's like green, but still. Maybe it's a different type of desert, but uh, yeah, green. And very similar to the Algerian one, but Soviet, right? And then we have the two ones that uh, were not in the, the, the initial like list that I uh, clicked here, but I just fixed that. Uh, yeah, we have uh, an aerobatic one. As you see, very similar to the Navy, normal Navy versions that we have right now in the game. Uh, but with the uh, like orange nose, which is pretty, pretty cool. So very cool skin. Actually, this is my favorite of the Fury. So very, very cool. Uh, and then we have the Al Khalid one, which is a pre-order bonus that you can get, and it's already you know in the files and stuff. But um, yeah, this is basically the image out of it. So yeah, guys, basically these are the skins. I know it's nothing like too crazy of interesting, but uh, yeah, it's it's skins. I love skins, and of course the patch is right on, around the corner. So uh, I, you know, I I think. Some people would enjoy seeing what skins are coming. Nothing too crazy, apart from the J10 one, the aerobatic one that I love. Uh, and the SU24M one, maybe. Nothing too crazy. I, I, I'm still waiting. I'm gonna wait for the uh, actual player made skins. I think they are normally a little bit more fun. But yeah, let's wait and see. I see you guys on the next video. Thank you, all the members and patrons. E and um, subscribe. Um, Click the like button, comment, see you guys, bye. By the way, you can help Zabi by supporting him on Coffee. I will leave the link in the description. Go out there and help him out. See ya.